Boys, I'm feeling good right now. I'm coming right straight off of a Celtics victory today over the Philadelphia 76ers. And I'm pumped to do this video. Today, we are going to be doing a rebuild. Basically, I'm calling this one Defense Wins Championship. Somebody commented this, and I absolutely apologize. I hunted the past, like, three videos, maybe even four. I could not find the comments. So I forget specifically what you said, but I kind of remember the general concept and idea of it. Basically, every single player on my team has to have an A- minus defensive rating whether it's a big man he'll obviously have the you know the inside defensive rating if it's guard he'll probably have the perimeter side defensive rating and then small forwards whatever the hell it may be just as long as there's at least an a minus or plus rating they're allowed to be on this team so as i've been doing a lot recently i decided to go with a fantasy draft today i'm only going to be making my first overall pick before we go ahead and simulate the rest of the draft this is so i you know i don't end up with an already unbelievable defensive team but I decide, you know, sometimes maybe I want to do a regular rebuild with a team that's, you know, like a real team, but if I ended up with a team like the Philadelphia 76ers or the Los Angeles Clippers, just an unbelievable defensive team, the Milwaukee Bucks, the LA Lakers, like, it would just be kind of problematic. So, I decided to do a fantasy draft version of this one today, and if you guys are new here, help me out a little bit. Subscribe, we're on the road to 30k, if this video can hit 300 likes as well, that would be absolutely great, but... Without further ado, let's hop into this one, boys. So again, our team really doesn't matter here. I'll close my eyes and select a random team, just so you guys know I'm not cheating in any way, shape, or form. Three, two, and one. We end up with the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, maybe we'll get a good pick. I haven't actually really used the Bucks in a long time, I don't think. So, I swear to God, it's not rigged. Like, I, I, I'm trying to, you know, find a way to prove it to you that, that it's not rigged, but... I, I'm sorry. I, I really have no way to prove it to you, but I, my eyes were fully closed... I don't know. We're going to end up with the number one overall pick here. Okay, so we have some obvious options here. We're obviously focusing on defensive here. So only one of these two has to be an A- minus or higher in order for me to select them. So LeBron is an option. James Harden is not an option. Giannis is an option. Kawhi is definitely an option. AD is an option. Luka is not an option. I would have loved to go with Luka Doncic. Unfortunately, I cannot draft him today. Uh, could go KD. Could not do Steph. Could not do Dame. Could do Joel Embiid. But yeah, it's probably not going to happen. So... I think I'm just going to go for it. I think I'm just going to take LeBron. You know, it's not every day I get LeBron. I could go Giannis, but, like, I feel like I still even get him sometimes. So, LeBron James, welcome to the Milwaukee Bucks. That is going to be our only pick. And, obviously, you know, I would have loved to take, like, Luka Doncic because he's just a guy I never get, but couldn't do that one today. All right. I'm going to send him the rest of the draft. I'll see you guys with the team. So, the CPU went ahead and drafted the rest of our team. We also ended up with Drew Holiday here, who does have an A-plus perimeter defense. He is solid. Mitchell Robinson here has an A-minus inside defense, so that is good as well. Boogie has to go. Miritich has to go. Wow, okay. We did not do a really good job to hear, you know, drafting defensive players. So, yeah, we definitely have a lot of trades to make here. Uh, it's only going to be the 9 or 10 guys that are going to be in my rotation. I mean, the, the rest of it, I really don't matter. Oh, my God, you drafted the lesbian for me. God damn it. Also, I'm going to really have to focus and make sure LeBron, I mean, he is 34 years old, so his defensive ratings, you know, might eventually regress a little bit. Might have to send him to a defensive camp or two, but we will see. Uh, but yeah, we're good here with these three, definitely. I'm definitely going to be keeping them for, you know, at least the remainder of this season. But without that, I definitely have some trades to make. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get somebody, you know, I really don't ever get. We're going to try to pick up Kyle Lowry today. I forget who you are, but somebody comments it like almost every video asking Mass to get Kyle Lowry. We're going to try to do it today. He has, I believe, I, you know, I filtered it correctly, I'm pretty sure. So I believe, yes, his, where the hell is perimeter defense? It's an 86, but I believe I set it as an A-. minus. So I think we're fine there. If we're not, and I'll double check it after I make this trade, but I think it should go through. Seriously? Okay, how about if I throw you two second round picks? Are you interested now? Okay, cool. I'm pretty sure Lowry should be good. He's a very good defensive guard, I would imagine. Okay, yeah, he is a minus perimeter defense, so we're all set there. Definitely got a couple more trades to make here, though. So we're going to go ahead and try trade number two here with the Golden State Warriors. Markel Fultz for Montrezl Harrell. They want Kadeem Allen for Avery Bradley. I'm actually excited to pick up Avery Bradley. He definitely has a good defensive rating. So, Montrez Harrell here, as you can see, has a rating of an A- minus interior defensive rating, which makes him all set, and he is going to be our new starting power forward. So, I still have some trades to make. That goes without saying. Avery Bradley is going to be actually my backup point guard because he does have a rating here of an A on the defensive side of the ball, and he's actually a great fit. He's one of the better defensive guards in the league, actually. Uh, I'm definitely still looking for a different backup shooting guard. LeBron will have a backup here, and then Miritich and the walking lesbian have to go as well. And then I need a backup center. All right, let me make a couple more trades. All right, so I know I just said I traded for Avery Bradley, and honestly, I still might move him to shooting guard, but I got to do this. I mean, you guys know me. I love Patrick Beverly. And yeah, he obviously is one of the best defensive guards in the entire NBA. So I think I'm just going to... I mean, Avery Bradley, like, when he was in Boston, he was a shooting guard. I mean, he is a little undersized at 6'3", but he's also, again, a really solid defensive player, so I'm fine with moving him there. Uh, to be our backup shooting guard, you know, behind Drew Holiday. It also kind of limits me, not limits me, but it doesn't, you know, require me to go out and make one more, like, big-ass trade for 
another shooting guard. So um, we need a center and we need a power forward now. Our next pick up here is going to be Robert Williams from the Oklahoma City Thunder. He absolutely has a good enough rating. Uh, we do have to throw in a trade exception there. I'm like almost 100% positive he should. Um, oh, he's actually a B plus. Okay. Well, that's absolute bullshit, but I will go ahead and fix that. You want to know how I know 2K is like just absolutely, they have no logic. They have absolutely no logic. They gave Daniel Tice an A minus interior perimeter D or not perimeter D in like an A minus defensive rating. They give Robert Williams a B plus. Do they watch basketball? Do they watch basketball? Do they know what Robert Williams even, I can't like, just, like, come on. You got to like at least agree with me there a little bit, but like, if you disagree with that one, I don't really know what to tell you on that one. But I, Daniel Tice, as you can see here, has an A minus inside defensive rating. And the fact of the matter is that they gave Robert Williams here a B plus. It's just the stupidest logic I've ever heard. Uh, I still have to make one more trade though. So this is going to be such an overpay. I'm trying to pick up JaVale McGee. I'm going to see if they'll give me a first round pick too. All right, are you not going to do it? Fine. We pick up JaVale McGee. He actually, surprisingly enough, I really did not think he would. But JaVale McGee has an A minus. Actually, no, that's not true. I would, I would agree with JaVale McGee probably having that rating. So this point in time, Tice is going to go down to power forward. I believe, oh, he used to go up even more at uh, small forward. But for now, I believe we are all set um, in the defensive department anyways. Um, yeah, we're good here. Okay, so our entire starting lineup is fine. I'm honestly just going to probably let these guys chill. They're not going to play. I'm going to have a nine-man rotation. I'm not even going to send them to the G League so I can trade them after. So... Let me go ahead and set this rotation. So we are all set here with these team at the start of year number one. I'm actually really liking this team. I'm, I'm going to assume we're probably going to become close, if not win a championship in year number one. But again, I'm really excited to see what the defensive rating is for this team and, you know, our differential and stuff like that. So year number one, Kyle Lowry and Drew Holiday, an absolutely unbelievable defensive backcourt. As mentioned, I'm just going to not say that every time because, you know, obviously it's going to be an unbelievable defensive backcourt. LeBron James here at small forward. Excited to use him. I do not get to use LeBron a lot, obviously. Montrez Harrell and then Mitchell Robinson. Bench looking like this. Pat Beverly, Daniel Tice, JaVale McGee, and then Avery Bradley. These guys are here. Unfortunately, I mean, I'm not going to... They're not going to play, so it's fine. They're just chilling here, but... We are all set, and I will see you guys at the end of year number one. Well, I'm not going to complain that, you know, we ended up with a number one overall pick. I really hope you guys don't think I rigged it. I mean, my eyes were totally shut. There's really nothing else I could have done. But we went 70-12 on the year, and LeBron won an MVP for us. 30 and a half points, almost nine rebounds, almost 10 assists on the year for him. Zion, rookie of the year in Minnesota. Ricky Rubio, six man, is in Toronto. Kawhi, defensive player of the year. Definitely was considering getting him as well, you know, with my first overall pick. I wish I could have gotten Luka Doncic, unfortunately. Shouldn't have the defensive ratings. Then Mike Bullenhoser does win coach of the year for us. So we are obviously a one seed. Obviously probably have the best record in the league. And yeah, we do. League always evens out when you do a fantasy draft, you know, except when you make 100 trades like I did. So LeBron, Harrell, Lowry, Drew Holiday, Mitchell Robinson. I mean, I'm really liking the makeup of this team. I mean, obviously I will change some things throughout the video. I'm not just going to leave it the same way the entire video. Defensively, we had the best rating, which is absolutely perfect at just over 104 points a game. And almost a 17-point differential. So, we got the Miami Heat here in the first round. Spencer Dinwiddie, Bradley Beal, Chetty Osman, Jabari Parker, and Clint Capella. Rounds out the starting five for them there in Miami. I'm pretty sure we're probably going to beat them in four, maybe five. I cannot imagine that they're really going to get much further than that. Again, I apologize. I ended up with the number one overall pick. Yes, I could have gone back and not given myself the first overall pick. But, you know what? Sometimes 2K is nice to me. You know, today it was. Detroit here in round number two, Simmons, Levine, Winslow, Horford, and Gorgie Jang. I would love to get my hands on Ben Simmons. Unfortunately, I just don't know how feasible that is going to be, you know, in today's video when, you know, I mean, this team's not made up. Like, definitely there's going to be some changes made, especially, you know, in the bench area. I just don't know if Simmons is going to be possible. Here in the West, or in the East, in the Eastern Finals, Schroeder, Doncic, Isaac, Portis, Marcus Aldridge. Solid, but again, I just feel like we're just so much better that I really cannot see that this team beating us, so... We end up winning in five, taking on the six-seeded Denver Nuggets here. Dame, DeLon Wright, Kelly Oubre, Nemanja Bielitz, and Marvin Bagley. Okay. I mean, like, thanks for, you know, coming, but, like, it's just, come on. Like, come on, really? I'm actually surprised at the trades I was able to make to start this. I really didn't think I was going to be able to make that many trades. All right, looks like they're going to get a game out here on us, so good for you, Denver. It's kind of like a little make-a-wish type thing. But we're moving on here to back to Milwaukee. We actually got a good one here. Okay. I don't like this, you know. All right, we're, we're in a close one right now. Let's see if I can hold them out. I'll see you guys in there. Okie dokie. We are here in Milwaukee, ready to close this out. Just make sure to get the starters in right now. I want to use LeBron because, again, not a big thing that I get to use him a lot. So let's see. I have an absolutely unbelievable defensive squad. And, of course, we're fouling here. Mitchell Robinson's second on the night. Kyle Lowry's 19 points on the night. Not too bad. Robinson's or Robinson badly going to be. Dude, I, how on earth? My, here's my logic. 
I, I you have no idea what I'm talking about yet. But the fact of the matter is the the fact that the Kings drafted Mav, Marvin Bagley over Luka Doncic is just I, come on, like come on. Look, I get it. You have De'Aaron Fox. You had Buddy Hield. You thought your backcourt was set. When you are a team that is so so terrible. You take the best player available. You do not fill a need. You take the best player available 10 times out of 10. And I swear to God, the people that thought Marvin Bagley coming out of college was better than Luka Doncic, coming out of playing in a league with grown men for however many years he did, are absolutely crazy. I get the Aiden thing. I get the Aiden thing. He went to college at Arizona, want to keep him there, whatever it may be. I understand the argument. You know, he also looked, he looks really solid in college. You know, obviously you can say, I mean, he's been pretty good in the NBA so far. He hasn't been Luka. But the fact of the matter that the, the Sacramento Kings took Marvin Bagley over Luka Doncic might be one of like the biggest blunders of all time. I mean, are we, I feel like they, I mean, they, yes, they get shit on, but I feel like they don't get shit on enough. I mean, am I wrong there? I feel like I'm not wrong there. They need to be hearing about that every day. I, you know, I'm not big on Kings Twitter because, you know, I don't really think anybody is, but I'm just saying. I'm just trying to make a point here, and I think I pretty I have a pretty valid argument here, in my opinion. So you can let me know your thoughts on that one down below if you want. Uh, while you're down there, make sure to go comment some video ideas because I'm trying to pump out as much content as I can. You know, try to milk 2K20 here before 2K21 starts. And I'm so fucking excited to get into 2K21. Just hoping they made some sort of like at least like minuscule change to my league, which would be cool. But did they probably do that? Probably not. But excited for you know to be able to rebuild normal teams again. All that fun stuff. So, might try a different game mode. I might try to play some my career. I really honestly don't know yet. I need to remember, this is like an actual game. I can't just fuck around right here. Um, so, yeah. If you guys want to see me maybe do my career, I don't think I'm going to do my team. Uh, just because I'm bad enough in-game already. And then if you guys have to watch me, one, like, I don't mind spending money on my team. Like, that's not a problem. But, like, do you really want to watch me play just straight-up gameplay? Look, I get that's what my career is, too. But I'm only having to control one person. It's a little different, I would say. Um... If you want me to try my team, maybe I'll do a little no money spent thing. But until I know that you guys are actually going to watch it, I'm probably not going to, you know, take too much time. All right, they're taking a the timeout. Big surprise, LeBron's your player of the game. Yeah, he is 41. I think he's like one rebound and one assist off a triple-double too. Montrez Harrell is a double-double, 26 and 10 on the night for him. Not too bad. Good for you, Montrez. All right, here. And I also only started that Marvin Bagley thing because I he's on the other team. I didn't just pull that out of my ass. Oh, my God. What is that defense? I mean, are we really just getting cooked right now? All right, LeBron is 41, 8, and 9. I would like to get him, like, at least a double-double, but I don't really know if that's going to be possible right now. People forget, like, I have to actually win this game, too. That's a foul. Thank you. Mitchell Robinson, really don't trust you with free throws, buddy. I'm not going to lie. Robinson missed the first one. Second one is up, and it is good. Okay, giving us a two-point game now, and they're taking another timeout. So the only difference I made is I inserted Patrick Beverly into the lineup. I, I'm pretty comfortable with that move right there. You know, I, I love Patrick Beverly. You guys know me, and especially, I mean, I'm going to take his defense over Kyle Lowry's. That's just an opinion thing. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to take his defense over Kyle Lowry. So I'm just inserting him, especially because, you know, we still are in a two-point game here. So I am trying to win. I'm not just, you know, screwing around right now, even though it might seem like it. Get that shit out of here. Get it out of here. Not in my house. Not in my house. I'm trying to, you know, not spend 10 minutes in this game. But, you know, it's, I'm, I'm not doing very well at it right now. Okay. We're in here with Montrez Harrell right now. Um... That, okay, I thought that was almost a backcourt, but yes, you can go backcourt. I thought he, you know, stepped frontcourt and then stepped back backcourt. All right, Thomas Sadoransky in here. Absolute clamps from Beverly, and that right there is why I put Beverly in. So we're up by two right now. I did insert Kyle Lowry back into the starting lineup. I think he definitely has a little more offensive upside than... Oh, my God, there we go. Then, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm losing it. Are they going to come with the double? They're going to come with the double immediately. That's fine. Fuck me in the ass. That was so bad. I, mm, I'm so bad at this game. I'm so terrible at this game. Bro, if I want to ever play, like, any other game mode on, like, 2K21, the first thing I need, oh, my God, LeBron, 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 oh, my God, LeBron. I just got to stop shooting them. He's getting doubled every time. I just got to find the open man. Um, I definitely, oh, my fuck. Oh, my fuck. That was very, very bad. That was very, very bad. I need to trim this gameplay down because, again, it's just taking so long, probably. LeBron, mid-range jumper, mid-range jumper. Oh, my God. Mitchell Robinson with the putback, baby. Let's fucking go. Let's go, Mitch. Not bad. Mitchell Robinson, you know, me and him don't always get along, but, you know, when I play with him, I guess he kind of likes me a little bit. That sounds so suspect. God, that just sounds so suspect. All right. Larry, I need you to clamp up Sato here. 
Come on, come on, come on, get the loose ball, get the loose ball, get the loose ball. Don't let him take a shot. No. Wait, whoa, did I hit, did I slap the ball out of his hand? How does he have a dribble? I must have slapped the ball out of his hand. I'm not positive on that one. He runs out of bounds. The dude runs out of bounds. What a bum. What an absolute bum. All right. I do not want to take free throws with LeBron. Obviously, there's 29 seconds left, so there's still like a five-second differential. But if it comes to it, I got to make sure I don't give LeBron the ball because I'm really not trying to take free throws with him. Right down to Montrez Harrell. Going to go up mid-range jumper, and Montrez misses. Montrez misses, and now they're going to hold for the last shot here. Holy fuck. Oh, my God. Drew Holiday with the steal. Drew Holiday with the steal. Drew Holiday with the steal. Oh, my God. Drew Holiday. What the fuck did I just do? Oh, my God. Clutch as fuck. Clutch as fuck. So, Pat Beverly's back into the game right now. Uh, I thought, again, it'd be a little bit of a smarter move, and I still don't know how. Oh, my God. We're not doubling. We're not doubling mirror attention. No, 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 no. Fuck me. Fuck me. Yeah, I blew that. That's that's totally on me. It's not on anybody else. Lowry's back in right now. Obviously, you know, I got to give it to LeBron. And we're just going to dri drive to the rack, drive to the rack. Oh, my God. Did it count? Did it count? Did it count? Did LeBron just win us a championship? The confetti's coming down. Unless we're pulling a Philadelphia 76ers right now, that is a championship. I will see you boys with the finals MVP. Shout out to this team for proving to everybody that defense does, in fact, win championships. I really do not think that went off before the buzzer. Obviously, LeBron James, holy hell, is your finals MVP. And I'm sorry, that was probably 10 minutes of gameplay. Hopefully, it was at least a little bit entertaining for you. You know, mix it up just a tiny bit here. Okay, so that was quite the first year. Quite the first year. Let's head up to the draft lottery right now. I cannot imagine we have any sort of pick in this, and yeah, no, we don't. All right, staff signing. There's no real reason to get rid of Blutenholzer, but um, Darvin Ham, I think I can get somebody better. Uh, you're cool, and you're fired just because I want those three on top potential. So assistant coach, I'm going to get my boy Trent Peterson. And then, yes, I will sign a CFO because people yell at me when I don't. Okay, we're all set in the staff signing department. Let's head up to the draft. We might have a late first-round pick. I'm not sure. We actually have 17 from the Pacers. I didn't even see that. I probably will not use it, though. So if I can get a future. Actually, I can get two. Oh, it's a protection backup. Does anybody want to give me two future firsts? Um, I'll just take a future first and a future second from uh, Phoenix. Okay, that's cool. We're not going to be drafting anybody here today. Uh, we're going to head up to team player options. And McGee declines. Bradley accepts Hamadou Diallo. Uh, I'm just going to let go. He's not really on the team anyways, so it's fine. Thoughtmaker, not going to get the qualifying. Does not qualify. So, free agency now. We obviously really don't have any money, which is unfortunate, but I might have a trade or two. So, we just made a pretty big first move by re-signing Montrez Harrell here. Absolutely key right now. Um, I I'm pretty sure I let everybody else go. Jonah Bolden, I'm honestly just going to dump. I mean, he's not even really supposed to be on this team. Does anybody just want to give me a second? Okay, cool. I'm not even going to take the first. I'm just going to take a second just because he's not supposed to be on this team, so I'm not going to take a first-round pick for him. So... Um, I'm very comfortable with this team right now. I think Robinson I'm definitely going to let develop unless he's going to, I think he's actually content. This might be the first time I've ever seen Mitchell Robinson content in this situation. Harrell's definitely staying. Tice is an 85 overall. I kind of want to capitalize on that trade value, you know, while I still have it. He doesn't ask for, you know, $25 million a year. Uh, but I also do need a backup center, I believe. So let me work on that first. Hopefully there's somebody here that will qualify. I don't have money for Javel McGee. I'm going the wrong way. So center-wise, uh, defense is kind of big right now. So Jan Mahimi, I could go after. Uh, could go also go after FK Udo. I'm going to sign Mahimi for now. And then I think I can probably go ahead and maybe trade him for somebody a little bit better. But we'll see. I definitely have one or two, like, maybe big moves to make here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pull the trigger on this deal right now. It might be a little shaky for some of you. I'm going to be picking up Malcolm Brogdon. I like him a little more because he's three years younger defensively. Malcolm Brogdon is a good defensive player. I think Drew Holiday still definitely has the edge. But also getting DeAndre Hunter here, and we do have to go up Daniel Tice, which is fine. I mean, he has season 85 overall. He also plays like 17 minutes a night. He's very replaceable. So... Um, we now have Malcolm Brogdon. He is going to be moving to the shooting guard spot. He's now an 87 overall, which is cool as well. Bradley, I'm going to be chilling with. I don't really see a real reason to, you know, let him go. And fuck me, Malcolm Brogdon does not have an A-minus rating. Why did I think he did? Yes, he did. I... Wait a minute. I'm fucking stupid. I'm fucking stupid. I need to trade him. My bad. Okay, we're doing this trade here with the Memphis Grizzlies, picking up Jalen Brown. Jan Mahimi's leaving. I apologize. I don't know why I just kind of assumed Malcolm Brogdon had a good defensive rating. Am I smoking crack? I feel like Malcolm Brogdon's a good defensive player. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought he was. But Jalen Brown's now here, as you see, as an A perimeter defensive rating okay i don't i'm fucking stupid sometimes so ty jerome is here we acquired him in the trade as well um deandre hunter is probably just going to get traded yes he qualifies but 
In reality, I need other backup positions. So Ty Jerome, I'm probably actually going to get a first-round pick for just because I did get him legitimately in a trade. So we're going to get two first-round picks, which is cool. We definitely need to reload on those as well. And DeAndre Hunter will now be moved for some sort of big man that hopefully I can, you know, figure out if has a good enough defensive rating before I actually make the trade. So, bull bull? Does he? I feel like you can't. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, where? Okay, here we go. Where perimeter defense, no. Post defense, nope. Bull Bull does not qualify. Marcus Smart. I do have Avery Bradley right now, but nah, yeah, I got to pick up Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart's like my boy. I love Marcus Smart. Celtic fans here. All right, I'll figure out some more trades. So I'm dumping Jeremy Lin for a first round pick right now. I believe I got him legitimately in a trade. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I now need to move Avery Bradley. Um, I love Marcus Smart. There's no way I'm trading him. Um, so Thomas Bryant, do you qualify? Um, son of a bitch. This is actually, there's actually a lot less guys than I really thought there would be here. I thought 2K was going to hype a lot of these guys up, and they really just, they don't. Bruno Fernando, do you qualify? Nope, you suck at defense. Ah, uh, shit. Thibault would be cool, or Thibuel, whatever the hell it is. But, no, I got to do this manually, I guess. Okay, so I just made a trade. I picked up uh, PJ Tucker from the Celtics. I'm going to move him down to power forward. I know he's going to go even up more at small forward, but I'm going to leave him at power forward. That's fine. Um, also, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and sign FK Udo. Uh, he's still in free agency. And as you see here, his inside defense is an A rating. Hopefully, it stays that way. If it doesn't, that's going to low-key suck. But Udo's on the team now. Again, I'm sorry. This video is taking absolutely forever, and it really shouldn't be. But let me double-check. A, 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 A. Uh, a, A, and okay, we're cool. I'll see you guys at the start of year number two. So year number two, the second season looking to repeat. Kyle Lowry, Jalen Brown, LeBron, James Monsters, Harold, and Mr. Robinson. Obviously only one change in our starting lineup. Drew Holiday is also one of those guys that does regress a ton, so I'm not terribly mad I made the move, and I honestly love Jalen Brown as a Celtics fan. So I did it. Be mad if you want. Bench improved as well. Marcus Smart, Pat Beverly, PJ Tucker, and FK. Actually, I don't know about that. Marcus Smart's definitely an improvement, but I don't know about these two down here. And just so you know, you can see that we have an A minus and an A plus. We have an A and an A plus. We have an A. We have an A minus and an A minus. And we have an A plus and an A minus. So we're all set. Rules are all set in place still. Let's go to repeat. Year number two comes to a close here. I believe we won, won 70 games last year. We win 66 this year. I'm never going to be mad about that. Luka puts up a triple double. Wins MVP. Back to the, you know, the usual thing. He wins MVP every year. Lamelo Rookie of the Year. Also wins Sixth Man of the Year. Kawhi Devens Player of the Year. Trey Young, Most Improved. Mike Bolden holds the coach of the year, second year in a row. So we're obviously a one seed here. Take a look at the standing. Chicago was 10 games behind us for the number two seed. We were 14 games up on the best team in the Western Conference. Player stats right now, LeBron, who I did re-sign to a contract, as you can see right now. Mitchell Robinson is, you know, back on his usual bullshit. He is angry. 34 minutes a night, starting center on a championship contending team. And this motherfucker is just pissed. He's just pissed. So um, maybe I'll look for somebody else, but we'll see. Uh, 320-plus point scores is cool. I'm loving Kyle Lowry, Mark and Smart as well, Beverly. Tucker and Udo, you know, didn't really do much in the points department. But defensively, I'm sure they were great. Team stats in the air points per game. We were number six. Defensively, though, under 108 was great and the best differential on the year. So Philly here in round number one, Monte Morris, Devin Booker, Clarkson, Valentunas, and Bam Adebayo. I saw they have our old friends of Alan Gee there on the bench as well. So hopefully, you know, we can just get this done, maybe done in four. Uh, unfortunately, I will probably not be hopping in again today just because, you know, I think I got literally probably when I ended up cutting it out, I think it'll probably be around 8 to 10 minutes worth of gameplay. It literally took me like 20 in there, but we will see. Wow, what a backcourt here of Jamal Murray off the dome and James Harden. Then you got one of the bubble MVP candidates here in TJ Warren, Robert Williams and Damian Jones. Solid start, solid starting five there in Indiana, especially, you know, in the first three right there. You know, the front court's not great, but I'm sure it'll do with all the rest of those guys. So we're up 3-1 right now, and we're moving on to take on Miami, who swept Toronto, the seventh seed. Miami looking like this. Spencer Dinwiddie, Bradley Beal, Chetty Osman, Anthony Davis, and Clint Capella. I feel like we might have played this team last year because I feel like I remember these two, but I definitely don't remember Anthony Davis. So maybe they signed him in free agency this past offseason. We're down 3 nothing, and we just got our shit absolutely kicked in by the Miami Heat. All right, well, um, that is definitely going to require me to making some sort of move. Golden, what the fuck? Okay, um, not really sure who's over there in Golden State, but Markel Fultz, our old friend who I traded to you, won a finals MVP for you. So I guess you can no longer call him a bust. So, holy fuck, we end up with the number one overall pick. Dude, 2K is just, it, they're being nice to me today. 2K is being nice to me. I mean, besides the fact that we just got swept by the Miami Heat, like, 2K is being nice to me today. All right, 
I might try to pull off a blockbuster here. Let me see what I can do. Okay, so I couldn't find a trade. There was nothing there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draft somebody and then just trade them. Cade Cunningham's going to be the guy just because I know his value is the highest. So obviously he will not be on this team. I checked his ratings. He does not have, you know, any of the big or the two ratings that have to happen in order to remain on the team. Um, as you can see here, he has, you know, oh, wait, shit. Well, when I was scouting him, he didn't have it, but I guess he does have an A-. Uh, even with that, I still might go ahead and, you know, look for a trade, just to see if I can maybe pull off something kind of big. Mitch, oh, Mitchell Robinson's on a team option. I don't know why. Oh, it's because, you know what? I'm, I'm used to using him in start today, which I'm pretty sure is still broken, and then he's a free agent in the final year, but... Obviously, that is not the case because start today is broken. So, for agency, Giannis, yeah, this is cool. Um, I'd love to get you, buddy, but it's just not going to happen, unfortunately. So, let me see if I can work on that trade right now. I also do have to go ahead and re-sign Kyle Lowry, I think, which is something I definitely want to do. Uh, hopefully, just get that done. Kyle Lowry honestly might be traded. I love Kyle Lowry, but he is 35 years old at this point in time, and I feel like I've definitely, you know, I got him a championship. He's been on this team long enough. I'm not saying I'm definitely going to trade him, but one of the starters is definitely going to be moved. So we're going to be doing this trade right here. Uh, basically, what we're going to be doing is Russell Westbrook's going to come in here. Yes, you might say it's an overpay with Cunningham, but we're also getting LaMelo Ball back, who, again, probably will be in some sort of other trade because I highly doubt he you know, how he meets the qualifications. But Russell Westbrook, welcome to the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, LaMelo Ball actually does qualify. I really don't know if I want LaMelo Ball coming off the bench, especially when I feel like I can you know, make a trade and maybe improve it. We will see, though. Especially, maybe, actually, Beverly's contract might help. I might have one more move. Okay, so I'm doing this trade here with Portland. We're picking up Pascal Siakam. We're also getting DeJounte Murray, which is a big one. Yes, it sucks giving up LaMelo and Beverly, but DeJounte Murray is going to come in, and I'm pretty sure his rating should be high enough. Yep, they are A-plus per Murray. So, that is absolutely great. Uh, as you can see here, Siakam does have an A-minus inside def defensive rating. So, now I just need to get some backups. Um, that's always the tough part here. So, defensive ratings here. I can sign P.J. Tucker again. Really don't want to do that, but it's really looking like that's my only option. Um, I'll look at some centers, too, and oh, boy. FK Udo can come back. Like, it's just it's tough because there's not a ton of guys you can really sign here. So I'm going to try to do Udo, and honestly, I'm going to try to do Tucker as well, who wants $7 million. Weird enough. Really don't know if you deserve $7 million, PJ Tucker, but yeah, it sucks. They're both really low overalls, but honestly, I mean, look at this team. We're, we're fine. I'll see you guys at the start of the third and final year. Year number three here, the third and final year, and this is how the rotation is looking. New addition here in the starting lineup, Russell Westbrook, Jalen Brown, LeBron James. Also new addition here, Pascal Siakam and the Mitchell Robinson. Probably going to get a little bitchy, but he's fine. Bench, DeJounte Murray, Marcus Smart, PJ Tucker, and FK Udo. They're playing 12 and 10 minutes, respectively. It is fine. Just so you guys know here, as you can see, A and A+, plus, A and A+, plus, A, A-, minus, A-, minus, and A+, plus, and A. So we're cool there. We're all set. I'm trying to look for another championship. I don't want to just one win one today. I want to win two. I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final year. So year number three comes to a close. We tie the second best record in NBA history at 72 and 10. Luka Doncic MVP, Cade Cunningham. We traded him. We could have kept him. I, I, I would prefer, you know, the upgrades we made. DeJounte Murray wins six men of the year for us. Kawhi, defensive player of the year. Kizi Akpala, most improved. Mike Bullnoser, third year in a row, coach of the year as well. So we check out the standings here real quick. 15 games up on the two-seeded Chicago Bulls. Looked like the Heat didn't do that well, even with AD. It's a little, a little weird. Okay. Uh, player stats in there let in scoring by Pascal Siakam, surprising. We had four 20-plus point scorers. I do not think that's ever been done in NBA history. I really don't think that's ever been done before in NBA history. So, yeah, this team was super solid. Rebounds went to Richard Robinson. Assists was LeBron. Team stats in the year points per game. We were second. Wow, Dallas was super solid. Defensively, though, just .1 points over 104 points per game. And we led the league with a 20.7 differential. All right, we got the New York Knicks here in the first round. John Wall, Anthony Edwards, Josh Kogi. Wow, it's actually a pretty solid team right there. Especially for an eight seed. Not too shabby. Uh, I still think we're probably going to blow them out of the water, but... Not bad for an eight seed, especially because, you know, they are the New York Knicks, nonetheless. So, we are up 3-1 right now, and we end up winning in five. There we go. Moving on around number two now, Philadelphia 76ers. Take a look at their team. Hampton, Booker, Ananobi, Valanciunas, Bam Adebayo. I would flip these two. I'd play Bam at power forward and Valanciunas at center, but just my opinion right there. I, again, really solid front court. I still think we're a whole lot better than them, though, so I can't imagine we're probably going to take more than five, maybe six games, but... We win in five. So, Chicago here in the East Finals, once again, oh my God, they signed Kawhi Leonard. So, now we have to deal with Kawhi Leonard and Luka Doncic, which just really doesn't seem fair to me. Um, but then again, we just swept them. So, uh, what do I know? Moving on, NBA Finals time, Golden State Warriors. They won it last year. What the hell? Because well, wasn't didn't Fultz win a Finals MVP for them? I guess they just either moved on from Markel Fultz or, I mean, I really, I mean, this is a good team, but like, 
Really? Don't know about that one, Chief. Uh, we're up 2-1 right now, 3-1, and we end out closing them out in five. LeBron James wins his second Finals MVP award of this video. And I guess technically, yeah, that would be his fifth championship overall. So, um, as I mention every single time, 2K20 is uh, slowly winding down. I'm trying to get as many of these videos out, you know, before. Well, one, I go back to school in six days, actually five days when you see me post this. Holy fuck, I need to get my shit together. But, so, you might, I might miss a few days. I go back to school next Sunday, or well, this upcoming Sunday. So, I'm going to try to schedule videos if I miss it. I mean, I have a lot of shit to do here. I mean, I have a lot of shit to get together. Got to go out and buy some shit as well. So, um, given I'll probably be at school for two weeks before I'll get sent home again because, you know, somebody's probably going to die or something. But that about does it for me. Let me know any other video ideas down below in the comment section. If you guys could go on in the comment section too and just like comments you see if you wanted to maybe do those rebuilds, I'd be happy to do that. But if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. If we get a 300 likes in this video, that would be absolutely great. That's it. I love you guys. See you guys all in the next one.